So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my device to this USB adapter to give me some power. I'll put all this stuff back in the box. Note, it is pretty hard to fit this all back into the box. So once you take it out, it's pretty much out. Let me turn off the light. You can see there's a blue LED that started up. So I know that the module is ready to go. If I look over here on my wireless, I can do a quick disable and enable the Wi-Fi so it'll refresh the access points. The WRT node should be acting as an access point now. And there we are, WRT node 45EE. So over here there's a password that you have to type in that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the default password for connecting as a access point. And so now if we look up here, we should be associating with it. But I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal. Hopefully. Let me close that guy out. I just try a new terminal. Okay. So if I do a IF config, I can see that I'm, I'm connected to it through WLAN 0. And the WRT node is always at 8.1. So the first thing you have to do is Telnet into it. And if you're using PuTTY, you can Telnet into it. And then you have to change the password. So changing password for root, um, not my password. Okay, not my password. There, I changed the password. So now we can close this connection or exit this connection. And now we can SSH into root at 192.168.2. 8.1 and there we're connecting to it and it'll ask us this to type in yes and then our password was not my password okay so now we're in we have root access and if we want to connect this guy to our network we can do a APS access point scan there's some really important information that we got to get from here. Uh, number one is the channel, so that's channel four, and then the SSID. So I'm using the Belkin.544 device and channel four. So if I wanted to set this up to connect to my network, I would edit the etc config wireless, enter, and I would have to change this channel right here. I have to hit I in order to be able to edit. Change the channel to four. Down here, the SSID. This is the SSID as the access point, but down here is the SSID that it actually connects to. So, Belkin.544. And the client password this is what I would change to my password. Um, and no, that is not my correct password. So if I wanted to save this, I can hit escape and colon, right quit, enter. So now I've saved the wireless configuration. So if I wanted to go ahead and run that, I could do an NR or I could do an etc init.d uh, what is it network restart and that would go ahead and restart the whole network so when this thing actually connects it'll be connected to my home routers network and I would be connected to it as an access point 
When you're connected to it as an access point, it's considered a secure, uh, trusted connection. But when you connect to it through your router, then it is no longer considered a secure, trusted session. So all of that is blocked by the firewall. So we'll have to go in and edit the firewall script.